Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffee, and with me this week is Gina Smith, senior editor at PC Computing Magazine. Gina, I have two different chess games up here. This is the chess that comes with one of the Windows Entertainment Packs. And if you move, you know, sort of the usual looking chess game. Over here, though, I have chess, battle chess, coming off a CD-ROM. You get, of course, soundtrack here and music uh, that will come along with this and all kinds of sound effects. Now watch, this is the animation of a capture by that bishop of the night. <laughs> it does. Yeah. All right, this is kind of a, a little trivial example of, uh, of what you get from CD-ROM, but seriously, if I'm a computer user, what do I get for my money by going out and buying a CD-ROM drive and buying CD-ROM software? Stuart, the amazing and exciting thing about CD-ROM is just the pure volume of data that you can get on one of these things. As most people know, you can get over 600 megabytes right. on one of these little disks. That's a few times the size of the average hard disk, and when you've got all that room, software developers can do some really incredible things. For instance, they can put digitized photos, digitized animations, mm -hmm. sound, graphics, things you would never even want to fit on your hard disk right. if you have any files at all. What about serious business applications? Well, those are slow in coming, but they're just now starting to arrive. And right now, the prime area is reference mm -hmm. materials. You can fit over 300,000 pages, typed pages, on one of these disks. Yeah. So they're natural for putting, say, the entire yellow pages of the country on a disk. All on one disk. All on one disk, <laughs> or a technical reference, yeah. or the complete works of Shakespeare. Hmm. And some vendors are even selling uh, collections of sound, animation, and audio clips that you can use to snazz up your presentation. 